Today, we're looking at Memories Flamenco Beach Resort in Cayo Coco, Cuba. We're going to look at everything that really matters. We're talking the rooms, pools, beach, food, and everything else that makes your vacation perfect. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. First things first, getting to the resort. It's only a quick 20 minute drive from the local airport and after you grab your bags, you walk outside and there's a lot of people there to help you figure out which bus to get on to get to the right resort. Once you arrive, you're met with a nice, bright, open lobby and a check-in desk that you go to and then head to the room. The rooms were located in multiple three-story buildings found throughout the resort. We stayed in room 4210. Our first impressions, it was a nice bright room. It came with three twin size beds, a nice balcony. It didn't have enough chairs to actually have all of us sit on the balcony, but it was still nice to stand on and let our towels dry. A little sitting area beside the balcony, a desk, a drawer, as well as a TV that didn't work. In the closet area, lots of space and even a safe to put your more valuable belongings. The room also had a separate sink area, which was perfect for getting ready. There was also a separate room for the shower and toilet. I will say that room was a little dark, and I did see a salamander in there. But we didn't come to Cuba to stay in the room. We came to Cuba to go to the beach and the pools, and let me tell you, the beach was beautiful. The sand, perfect, and the water, clear lots of places to sit on the beach as well and if you couldn't find a spot yourself with shade there's staff there that will help you out even better there's multiple bars on the beach as well as places to eat and we ate there was a nice spot that was making fajitas fresh and i think we went back for seconds and thirds oh <laughs> it was so good it was that good there are two main pools in the resort there is a lower pool and an upper pool the lower pool has a swim up bar and the upper pool was where you had more of the like activities that i would was say the party pool. that was the party pool you went there to have a good time we spent most of our time in the upper pool and and we never had any problem finding a place to sit it was never too crowded even when the activities were going on if you were to go to the lower pool where there was the bar it tended to get a little bit more crowded but it also made sense because there was a beautiful waterfall attached to the pool. Why, why wouldn't you want to spend time down there? Let's talk about the food, guys. Our favorite part, my favorite part. So this resort had a buffet that offered breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now the food was okay. They offered an area for kids' food. There was fruits, veggies, lots of fish dishes, lots of pork dishes as well. They also had chefs on hand to actually, like, make food for you like heat up some food for you which was really cool in the morning they were making fresh crepes and one time during dinner they even had fresh shrimp being grilled it was great and, and when we say great we mean it was great for our expectations when you go to cuba one of the big things you hear a lot about is is the food isn't the best you could probably get it better if you paid more for a resort in a different country so set your expectations the food it's not terrible but if you're a picky eater you may not like it. When we went there, we knew that it wasn't going to be a Michelin star restaurant every single night. And we still were able to find a way to enjoy ourselves. And I will add, like, a lot of the fish dishes and a lot of, like, the meals that are authentic to the country were actually very delicious. There was four a la carte restaurants as well as a special Diamond Club eating area. There was a snack bar called Bites. We loved Bites. Oh, uh, they offered... Pizza, hot dogs, and their ham sandwiches were so good. We would order six ham sandwiches at a time. <laughs> oh, tip and advice. You could order the food at Bites and bring it to the pool. It was the perfect, perfect after swimming activity was having one of those ham and cheese sandwiches. And the great thing about Bites is it's right next to the pool and it's also on the way to the beach. So wherever you're going, Bites is there to fill you up. It's also open late at night. so after the show on the whole resort there's about eight bars and i found the drinks a little watered down you know your rums your beers but hey they were unlimited so you could drink as much as you wanted who cared the one thing that rocked our world though 
was the coffee. Cubans take their coffee very seriously and it's probably the best coffee I've ever tasted. So good. They had their Americanos, their cappuccinos, their mochas, and even some alcoholic drinks that were just perfect after a dinner. Entertainment was all around the resort. You were always pleasantly surprised when something popped off. Whether it was a pool party, lobby entertainment, face painting in the buffet, and the highlight of the day, the theater. There was always something fun going on for the kids in the evening, and then there were other live performances. There were dancing performances. One night they even had their own rendition of Cats. And then other nights it was more chill. One time we walked by and they were playing Cars 3 on the TV. And then another night we walked in, they were just playing the Shakira and J-Lo Super Bowl halftime show. Good performance. And a quick tip on tips. The folks on the resort helping you out, they live off of those tips. So whenever you get a drink, whenever you get food, it's encouraged that you leave a tip behind. Do not change your money over to the local Cuban currency. They prefer to either have Canadian or American dollars. That's worth more to them than it is the Cuban dollars. Plus, it's probably cheaper for you to get because you don't have to worry about losing money whenever you exchange your currency. And now for how much we paid. As a family of three on a seven night stay in a junior suite at Memories Flamenco Beach Resort in Keokoko, Cuba, we paid a total of $2,198 Canadian, which is roughly $1,642 American. Would you recommend this resort? I would. It was priced really well compared to other resorts. It actually had a lot. The food, the entertainment, the beach, I mean, the beach and the pool. I mean, it was a perfect family vacation. It was not hard at all to fill the day. We enjoyed the pool, loved the beach, the food was plentiful. We've stayed at a couple of resorts in Cuba before, including some other memories resorts, and far and away, I think this was the best dollar for dollar value we received. Thank you for watching our review of Memories Flamenco Beach Resort in Keo Coco, Cuba. And let us know in the comments if you prefer the beach or the pool. Please like, subscribe, and share, and check out more of our videos by clicking the link on the screen.